Hi, I'm Ethan Strimling, former Democratic State Senator, sitting here with my colleague, former Republican State Senator Phil Harriman. Phil, big inaugural, the governor got reelected 48% plus. He's given a big speech next week. Uh, what are your thoughts on what do you hope to hear from the guy? Well, I, I think what's most important to remember about the inaugural is it seems to be all pomp and circumstance. It's a joint convention of the legislature and the Supreme Court and few past governors, and it tends to be viewed as more ceremonial. But the takeaway I would offer for our viewers is that the inaugural address is the governor's ability to send the message about strategy, budget, and policy that he hopes to uh, unfold in the next four years. Yeah, he, he remember, he's going to give his inaugural on the 7th, and he's going to roll out his budget for this year, the biennial budget, on the 9th. So you better expect that this, this inaugural speech is going to roll out a lot of his priorities. I think it's going to be a pretty big deal. I think he's going to roll out some very bold stuff. He was emboldened by the election. I think there's going to be significant income tax reduction, welfare reform we're looking at, energy policy. I think he's going for it this time. He's going to put his cards on the table and say, okay, folks, time to restructure government. You know, I had an opportunity to speak with him the other day, and I think you're exactly right. He believes that he was uh, re-elected by the people of Maine with a strong enough majority to convince the legislature that he does represent the people of Maine and their priorities. And he's been talking all along, as you just said. What You asked the governor any day of the week, what, is it, what are you focused on? Energy, taxes, welfare reform. I don't think it's going to be much of a surprise, but I do think the way he uses the pulpit to explain what his administration is going to do is going to make news for days and months to come. I think that's right. I hope that he also remembers that even though he did clearly get elected by a very strong um, number of Maine people, it still was a plurality. There still are 52 percent of the people out there that he needs to reach out to and find a way to bring in. I hope he uses some of this speech to bring those folks in, show some compromise, give a little bit to people who didn't perhaps vote for him but that he must represent. Well said.